Uh, yesterday, uh, our leadership, along with uh, a group of members from the uh, House Administration Committee and Government Reform Committee, uh, sent a letter to uh, the President urging him to reconsider his plan uh, to hand over control of the 2010 Census uh, to political operatives in the White House. Uh, this unprecedented move uh, by uh, the President, I think, would undermine the goal of having a fair and accurate census count. My goodness, this is the Census. All we're trying to do here is to count the number of Americans that we have. Uh, and I think it would also open the door to ma massive uh, amounts of possible waste and fraud uh, in terms of the $300 billion that's distributed uh, around our country based on uh, the census data uh, that we pick up uh, every 10 years. And I think the American people think that the census ought to be fair, uh, impartial, and certainly free of politics. And I think they expect uh, us uh, to make sure that the money that we're distributing to the states uh, is done fairly and uh, does not involve a lot of waste and fraud in terms of how this money is spent. And so uh, I think if this process continues to be controlled uh, by the White House, uh, we're opening the door to politicize uh, the census and uh, to shift uh, billions of dollars, tens of billions of dollars around uh, into states uh, based on inaccurate debt. Uh, I believe that uh, really would lead uh, to a giant waste of taxpayer funds. Thank you, Leader. Uh, I, I joined in that letter yesterday because I was shocked when I learned that Rahm Emanuel was going to, in fact, direct what is otherwise an independent agency underneath a confirmed independent agent or semi-independent agency. As most of you know, Article I of the Constitution are the powers of Congress. Included in that is the requirement to conduct a census. Therefore, by definition, we, we want to make it clear, we give to the executive branch and the Commerce Department the requirement to administer this constitutional duty belonging to the Congress. By no means is there any basis, any legal or constitutional basis for the President to direct the census. We've had previous census directors make it very clear that although they briefed presidents, back to Reagan, they never, in fact, reported to the president, nor thought they did. <coughs> Briefly, for the past four <coughs> censuses, we've had an independent, confirmed director who has been administratively underneath the uh, Department of Commerce. Commerce has shown that it can do its job of overseeing and providing the support to that, that effort. As you know, it's, a, it's an incredibly important one, but it's also a, an expensive one. It's one in which we hire huge amounts of people to enumerate, not estimate, how many people are in America in 2010. So I would hope that uh, as you look at this, you realize how unprecedented this is and how important it is. As the leader said, we, we in fact uh, uh, were shocked to find out that government money was going to be spent at the direction of the president for something which by definition must be fair, accurate, and above politics. So I hope that all of you will recognize that. I also would ask you to take note after uh, we clear out of Rahm Emanuel's own quote, because I think it casts real doubt on how in the world of all the people an unconfirmed appointee of the president could have in fact been selected to be the direct report after this statement, which was widely published. With that, we'll be with we'll, others will speak and then we'll take your questions. I'm Dan Lunger. I'm the uh, ranking Republican on House Administration. I also serve on Judiciary, two of the committees that have responsibility for this.